Hey everybody, I have had a request to show how I put my hair in little weird twisty things. So it is the morning and I have slept in a braid, which I always do because my hair is long and if I don't sleep in a braid it turns into a bird's nest. So I'm going to just take it out of a braid real quick. I don't know what it's going to look like. It usually looks like some strange version of beach hair, but not something you'd want to walk out in public with. Do to do. That's a look, isn't it? Okay. I always brush it out with a comb. I like this bamboo comb. Always start at the bottom to preserve your length and not rip out your hair. I generally don't like using a brush because it just like rips my hair apart. Unless I have like really bad tangles or something, I use a comb. At the end of the day, I use a um, natural fiber brush because it pulls the oils through your scalp and naturally conditions your hair. Um, so I like doing this type of curl or really any type of heatless curl because I don't blow dry my hair unless I'm doing a performance or something and I have to dry my hair that day. Um, I rarely use a curling iron unless I'm doing a specific style like victory rolls or bumper bangs or something like that that requires a really tight curl um, because obviously with hair this lightened, obviously that's not my natural hair color, <laughs> um, my hair is really fragile, um, but it's also really soft because I take really good care of it and I'm really careful with it, so um, yeah. So I've got a few more tangles here, I'm going to try to brush out. There's one little snag right there. Sometimes I try to like pull it apart with my fingers. I know I probably like didn't watch this video to see matches brush her hair, their hair. But here we are. Maybe I can do like an ASMR video. Brushing the hair. Just taking the comb to brush. Meow. Meow. Okay. So that's pretty well brushed. Alright, so for this style, you can part it down the middle or however you want it to look if you're going to wear it around for the day. I kind of do whatever, especially right now since I'm not going anywhere. Um, you can use a really tight headband or like a piece of fabric, like one of those headbands you would wear to work out with. I just happen to have this one. I have a huge head and headbands never stay on my head. Like as soon as I look up, they pop off the back of my head because I have a giant head. So I like these that have the adjustable straps, kind of like a bra strap, and I can make them super loose so they don't actually pop off my head. Um, I tend to part down the middle. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't impact how this works at all. generally part down the middle. Um, this will work a bit better if your hair is a little damp. And then put this on kind of like a flower crown would be, but again enough that it's going to stay on your head in the front and then in the back. I pull it all the way down because you want this to stay on your head. Okay, so I'm just doing this as a demonstration, but it does help if your hair is a bit damp. Okay, so you're going to start in the front. And I pull this a bit to the front, almost like where your bangs would be, and just grab a strand. And you're going to loop it over the top and pull it through. Okay, like that. Super simple. And mine's usually really messy. And then you grab a little bit more hair the next time. And you loop it through the top. And you pull it through. Sorry, part two. Okay, then you grab a little bit more and you loop it through the top and you pull it through. So obviously with any type of curling uh, pattern, the tighter you make it and the smaller strands you make it, the tighter the curls will be. And also the smaller this is, the tighter the curls will be. So if you get like a bigger band, there'll be looser curls. So if your hair has a hard time curling, you probably want to use smaller pieces 
and a smaller headband. And also, if you use like a curling setting spray or like um, a little bit of salt water or something like that, that'll help keep it in place too. Okay. Honestly, these always turn out better for me if I don't look. <laughs> okay, so I just keep going around. I'm terrible at making tutorials, by the way, so that's why I never do them. Okay. Now, before I get to the back, I do like to pick a halfway point. Okay. I'm just going to do this kind of messy for now. Because, again, I don't really plan on wearing this all day today. Okay. And I'll kind of get it as short around as I can. Just keep tucking it around because eventually you're going to join both sides together. Okay. So that side's done. So let's see it's kind of loose, but you can do it much more perfect. You could do like really small strands like this. I actually really like this headband for this since it has that lace at the top that kind of holds the partitions in place. You could easily make this <laughs> with like stretchy decorative um, trim from your local craft store when they're open or purchasing it online or whatever you have lying around. Or if you have like one of those head wraps that you use when you're washing your face, you could totally do this with that as well. See on the side I'm using smaller pieces. This will probably curl better. You could also like lightly mist this with water when you're done. My hair's really long and thick, so sometimes it dries uneven, so certain parts of it'll dry before other pieces are done. And if parts of it don't make it through, just keep tucking and pulling. It'll go through, it's not a big deal. Like if I can do this and my hair is this long, you can figure it out. And if you have really short hair, it'll still work. Just if the pieces don't stay connected to the loop, just let them kind of hang down. It'll still stay curled. I've done this when my hair is really short too and it still works. Okay. Trying to go quick so that I can show you how to do the back. So we're not here. So I gotta get to work. And by work, I mean my kitchen because, you know, life is different right now. But I'm grateful to have work right now, so I am not complaining. Okay. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm totally wearing blue mascara right now. I remember wearing this all the time in middle school and high school, and I'm super glad that it's back. And I have zero regrets about wearing it. I love wearing it with pink eyeshadow because I feel like it looks purple. Okay, so down to the back. So here, you just keep kind of like tucking it in. Kind of like, you know when you have a ponytail and you make a hole in the middle and you flip it through itself? That's basically what you do here. And you keep doing that until as much of it's tucked in as possible. It's kind of a mess, but you just keep tucking it in. And quite honestly, mine usually ends up really messy. And that's that. Then when you want to take it out, you just start from the back untucking it. And sometimes I can't get it out very well, so I'll start pulling from the sides to try to loosen it up. And that's it. If you want to do a better look, you can loosen it. Um, you can add flowers in it, and then that's the whole thing. Have fun. Bye, guys.